<laughs> we're not even on the air yet, and we're having fun. Yes, we are. <laughs> having a great time down here today. Hi, hi, yee. Oh, I hope everybody's as good as we are. <laughs> Isn't this just gorgeous? We should comment on this before we go any further. This is a little, this is a little ginger person condominium, <laughs> <laughs> and these little ginger people have just been evicted <laughs> because they didn't pay their little ginger bills. Right. Wasn't and that it's, cute? Yes, this was made by the lovely Doris Ford. I'll tell you, those Fords are talented people, they and they just keep amazing. on. They are amazing. I'm sure there's going to be a Ford in your future. And if but, there is, there should be. <laughs> but anyway. And you know what Doris said? What? That she would give anybody th this advice if they wanted to make one of these. And the advice is? Don't start. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that way about some of the recipes I we've know. done, too. But that is gorgeous. That really it's is. Wonderful. You got to take that home for Christmas? Is that going to be Christmas? Mm -hmm. All right. Whenever Christmas yeah. is, we're seeing it at different times. Yeah. You know, Christmas may be six months from now when you're watching this. I'll read us a letter, Blind. Letters. We get letters. <laughs> Dear Laban Larry, I'm very glad to see you fellers are back on the telly with Cooking Cheap. Must be English. I enjoy your carefree banter and easy going laid back format and I missed you when you were on hiatus. Were we on hiatus? Uh, I, I believe we went so. on that for two weeks, I believe. Because they didn't pay our Blue Cross and I'm not <laughs> sure we could have a hiatus. hiatus. No, never. <laughs> Don't leave anymore, you hear? H.M. Clifford, Howard Clifford of El Paso, Texas. Woo, way down to Texas. Well, this person has sent in, what's the name? Laurie Sue McClary. Yeah? <laughs> oh, this is a now long epistle. This. Well, Laurie Sue sent in some recipes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you one, just one, uh, that calls for a cup of noodles and then add, you know, the instant noodles and add uh, tuna fish and mayonnaise and stuff to it and everything, and serve warm or on crackers. Mm. And in your own kitchen, you can add other things like carrots, diced garlic, garlic and stuff. The interesting thing is that she says, this recipe is from the California State Prison, and it's more nutritious than the stuff they serve us here. <laughs> so oh, I'm glad you yes. guys and gals out there well, are I, incarcerated. That's right. I'm glad to see our prison demographics are up this year on this program. And so she has sent a bunch of recipes that... <laughs> And it says, in the 12 years I have been here, <laughs> I have seen people cook in the strangest ways and with the strangest devices, too, <laughs> such as the stinger. <laughs> Hopefully, if you cook these two dishes at home or on your show, you won't use <laughs> a stinger to do your cooking. <laughs> I understand that we're number one among people 25 and older in prison. Right. So, <laughs> here, Laban and Larry. Let's <laughs> that our entire so we're gonna family. Do these what prison recipes. was that, Bob? What it's in uh, Frontera, California. Frontera, California. Isn't it? Something? And we will do these recipes sometime. <laughs> if you ever get incarcerated, we want you to know Absolutely. that there are some some little dishes that you can cook right there in your cell. That is good. <laughs> and maybe sometime we should do some cell cooking. Here on uh -huh. I want to tell Many's you. Many's the time when I wanted to see you behind <laughs> bars. Besides, well, except the bars that I've seen I you never, behind lately. I <laughs> Come on. I mean, it was terrible the way you passed out down there at that place the other night. <laughs> it was a disgrace, as a matter of fact, especially after they threw you over it and broke those three bottles in the mirror. He's not going to finish <laughs> till he's finished. So, dear, leave it at Larry. And then there was that time you got stuck behind when you were taking those uh, ballet lessons and you got caught over behind that little bar when you were trying to do your plie. Is there any end to this? No, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> would like to know if you plan on having any recipes with lamb anytime soon since my four-year-old daughter loves to watch cooking sheep every Saturday. And it's signed Sherry S Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> and lamb chop. <laughs> Cynthia Hofford doesn't say where she's from. She's from this little home right here, as a matter of fact. And uh, this guy wrote in and uh, <laughs> saw that uh, show from the uh, lady that never missed our show but didn't like, like it. And she yep. said, I, I really enjoy the way you guys repi replied to the letter several weeks ago from that lady who never misses your show. I'll bet. Uh, it could not have been handled better without using words inappropriate for PBS. Oh. <laughs> The only changes in the show that is necessary to make it longer. 
they want it a longer. Oh, okay. So then all that's right. all I Well, today about. we're going an extra 15 seconds on the program just for you. Oh, good. Dear fellas, thank you. I'm just starting in the middle. Okay. Hope they leave your program on. They sure take off the ones people like. It's old <laughs> movies and sports. Oh, Lord. I remain Mrs. Florence Nurse. That's her name, uh -huh. Florence Nurse of Fort Myers, Florida. Thank you. We're big in Florida. Yes. Well, I reckon... You can read that some other yeah, time. Yeah, we've, well, we've we'll read enough that of this silliness. Let's get to the kitchen where we can be serious. Ugh. Well, we're going to do cookies today. Cookies. 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 We got cookies. We got lunch. And mine is so simple and so easy that I'm just going to save it till last. Yours looks like okay. it takes a little while, no, so I'm going to let you. No, it's not too bad. I don't know whether our little portable mixer will handle this heavy load or not. Well, you know it does take a right, uh, a right uh, strong mixer to be able to handle yeah, any kind I of should have Probably. Let me see if I can plug it in. Oh, it works real good. <laughs> oh, well, now, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Woo, look at it go. Now, in this mixing bowl, I have here a stick of margarine. There it is. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> and I've got a cream. Cream. You do that again, you're going to regret it for the rest of your born <laughs> days, boy. And uh, into it goes one cup of sugar. I believe that thing's missing a bearing. And you have to beat this till it gets fluffy. I never understand that. So call that. her in here, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I never understood that. How could that be fluffy? But that's what they call it. They, they do. They say till it's fluffy. Well, that looks pretty fluffy right now. Does it? Is yeah. that what fluffy looks like? Yeah. You remember? She sang with you in the church choir for years. All right, now. That's fluffy. Hmm. Now we're going to add to this the yolk of an egg, or, or a whole egg, rather. What a mess. <laughs> what did you do that for? What? Why did you make that little extra step there? But so that if there was any shell or anything in it, mm. I could get it out without having... Don't trust having yourself? It. No, mm -hmm. no, I don't. Not today. This has been a wild day. I have been aggravated today. Oh, no. Oh, I yes. I hate working with this. And you know, nobody likes to be around me when I get aggravated. And this is beginning to make a real pretty yellow batter here. Now while that is going, I'm going what to put What kind of cookie is this? An anise seed cookie. Anise seed. I went over to Johnson's house. Could you yet? hold that? While I open up yes. the... Oh. Well, you told me to hold it. You didn't tell me to keep it in there. I went over to Johnson's house the other day when he was baking up the ones that we're going to be eating today, and the whole house just smelled marvelous. It really did. Now, we've got our vanilla in here, and that's a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And beat that to death. All right, now... Let me clean off these it. beaters, because I think on this next step now, I'm going to have to uh, to do this by hand. All right, now, I'm going to put in here That's a good my ring seeds. Tour. Yes. What kind of seeds? Anise seeds. Anise seeds. And they have to be crushed. Now, where do the anise seeds come from? The grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> and they have to be crushed real good. Can't you just get already pre-crushed ones? No. They don't exist? And you need a tablespoon, uh, no I'm sorry, one and a half teaspoons of anise seeds. Anise seeds. Mm -hmm. And they, you really have to crush them now. I'm going to, well that's enough of that, I'm tired. Now let's put in a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of 
powdered baking, and remember, use the fresh stuff. Mm. I don't do a whole lot of baking, so that's why I got these little cans. That's a very good suggestion. A rum Ford, and I've got a cup and three quarters of flour. Now I'm going to mix this up. Just now I can't self-rising or, or just regular. No, no regular. Regular. Always use regular unless, unless it tells it anything. If it calls for baking powder, it will not call for self-rising flour. All right, now. Let me put it, I need a cup and three quarters of flour, and I'm just going to beat this by hand because I don't want to burn our mixer up. I'm just full of the... Oh, why not? And two. it's good exercise, and some of us need the exercise. Bly, I see you... Speak for yourself. Well, I mean... And you just get this in here, and this is the way they used to do it before they had electric mixers, back when they had those kerosene ones. And you sprinkle the flour in over. Now that's three quarters of a cup. And uh, what? Three quarters of a cup of flour. This is a very, very stiff batter. Ooh, this is so stiff. <laughs> Did he do it again? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, just don't pay no okay. attention. Just go right on with the recipe. It's not even business believe. what's going on in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it is too, isn't it, Mike? <laughs> is it our business, guys? Uh, yes, it yeah, is. Tell they're paying a lot of attention to you, uh -huh. Johnson. Well, no, it was turned the wrong way, so it wasn't nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just standing here. I'm just trying to incorporate. Hoping that I'll get at least one minute and a half of air time on this well, program wait a today. We usually, they, well, where's Jimmy Hammerstrong? He's not here telling us that we got about three minutes He's left. working for another show this oh. week. <laughs> Are you getting close on that? Well, I mean, you know, it's, the flour is still being incorporated into the batter. Mm. But it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm getting close. You want to do yours? Is that what you're saying? Well, I just don't want to stand up like last week where I had to throw mine together in about 30 seconds. Well, I mean, these will not possibly bake. We have previously baked these recipes on the air. I just want people to see that you can actually do this with some elbow grease and not an electric mixer. Because mm -hmm. there are lots of people, especially all you guys and gals out there in the California prison system that don't, find, don't have an electric <laughs> mixer in your... Uh, now, you might want to sneak one of these wooden spoons in through the bars, and you can fashion, well, you can just take a big old chunk sure. of wood and fashion it into a spoon, just like I did. I did this in my last five years while I was serving a little time. It's real pretty. <laughs> can you see them? <laughs> now, you know, they have one of those big lockdowns, and they go in, and they pull the knives and zip so guns out. What are you out. doing with a spoon? <laughs> Somebody has got a wooden spoon that they made out of a cake of soap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me. You know, if it wasn't for stuff like that, we would just... <laughs> Johnson has the same feeling about a lot of things that I do. You know, they say, you, you know, you can knead stuff in with your hands and one thing and another, but you can use, a, you can use generally, a, just a plain old wooden spoon to do much of this stuff, just like he's doing right now. All Works right, now, well. you see we've got a real thick, heavy dough, and I'm going to put these seeds down in here and incorporate them into the... Uh, batter and Bly, while I'm doing this, because this will take a while to get all of this in, why don't you go ahead and mix yours up? All right. I want to tell you all there's big news on the horizon. Peter Pan is now in plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Even the guy in the grocery store was freaked out. He went, oh, it doesn't feel right. What is it? It's plastic. It's true. Isn't that something? So now late at night when you, when you drop it accidentally, See? It's wonderful. But you can still break your Plastic, toe. But you <laughs> just did. You can put big dents in the stove like I just did. I'm going to make up some. This is called, this is interesting. It's called I Can't Believe It's a Cookie. <laughs> cookie. <laughs> it cookie. Sent in by Lee Holston of Pulaski, Virginia. Some of our Pulaski viewers down there. Down there in Pulaski County. Well, I tell you one thing. Lee knows how to make cookies the fastest way humanly possible, I do believe. And it, it just, it's two, two, two. You can remember this one. Two, two, two. Take two cups of sugar. And by the way, this comes very close to replicating, duplicating 
uh, a recipe in our family for... Copying is what we called it. Well, yeah, <laughs> it almost is a, a carbon copy of, uh, of cookies similar to this in our family, except that instead of using all white, you can do a combination of white and brown sugar, mm -hmm. and it'll sort of give it a little slightly different taste. Two cups of sugar. Start out with a nice large bowl so you can mix it around a little bit, all right? About as big as Johnson's head. So that's a nice good size. Two eggs. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm just going to go on ahead and plop them in there because I, I really don't care if they get shells in or not. <laughs> But well, what a horrible attitude. No, it's not. I'm, I'm, I've been, I'm an old egg cracker from way back. I know what I'm doing. I was raised with the chickens. Well, we won't get into all that. Uh -huh. But anyway, and this is the worst part. The worst part, I always think, is getting the two cups of this goop out. So I've got myself a spatula just for the occasion. Now I'll also show you some little tricks of the trade here in a second on rolling this stuff out. Got to have two cups of it. I've How discovered. How many ounces is in there? Well, this is a two pound, eight ounce jar, and if you use about one half of it, you've got two cups. Yeah. You as a matter of fact, ounces. as a matter of fact, I'm just <laughs> save myself a little trouble. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you had prefigured it for me, Mr. Johnson, and I'm just going to go on ahead and try and get it out of there. It isn't going to come out of there. <laughs> it won't come out. I believe it's been put in the refrigerator. Boy, this sure does call for a lot of it, too. This you spatula know, is about as good for nothing. Story. We have a, a common friend that travels a lot, and he was down in, uh, very common, too. Uh, he was down in, on the eastern shore More last common week, than that. And, and came back, and instead of bringing me a, a big uh, can of peanuts, as he is wont to do from time to time, he brought me a big, big old jar of, uh, or a little plastic container of peanut butter from mm. one of those famous peanut companies down there mm. in the eastern part of Virginia. Mm. And that was real nice, and I was appreciated it, and it was fresh, and it said, refrigerate this, and I did. Well, last night, after I had finished my tra travels and travails, I decided that what I would like to have for my dinner, because I'd been on the road all day and I was weary and didn't feel like cooking, was just an old peanut butter sandwich. So I went to the refrigerator and I got out that little container of peanut butter and opened it up and tried to spread it. And I'm telling you, it was tougher than the mortar that I used to make when I was a bricklayer. It was awful. Tasted real good, but you couldn't spread it on your bread. Ooh! Oh my! Tore a big hole Excuse in the bread. Me. I'm terribly sorry. I'm used to things being in this. Is this a brand new can or what? No, they just they got just it emptied. emptied it. Yeah, I Cren guess. Tom anyway. Cornell came okay. through here. All right. Mm. Okay. Now, we we'll to take all this. This is it. That's the whole thing. Now you take what? a big, heavy spoon and you start mixing that stuff up: the eggs and the peanut butter and the and the sugar. Mix it up real good, and no uh, flour goes in this, which a couple of people in my family freaked when they heard that. They couldn't believe that you can make cookies without flour, but it's true. But now it's important that you... <laughs> I believe I've built up my muscle since I started doing this. Woo! This stuff does have tendency to get right thick. And I'm gonna show you in a couple of seconds. Now set your oven at 350 degrees. And they're gonna bake for about 10 minutes. And if you want them a little crispy, you can let them go for 11 or 12, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you get them up to about 15 minutes, you're gonna burn them on the bottom, I know. Cause I experimented around with them yesterday. Now what you gotta do, this is the fun part. Get yourself an ungreased cookie pan, which I have here. And I'll show you a couple of tricks to the trade here. And get yourself a nice long tongue fork. Long, Tines. Long. <laughs> not, not a long tongue, a long time. Get yourself a little bowl of water for yourself and your fork. And put your, your fork in that water and put your fingers in some water too. I hear. This is a finger bowl. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to help you to roll these things out in little one inch balls. See? That way they don't stick to your hands. You can just reach in there and play around with them, roll them out, put them down in there. won't take me but a second. 
Oh, did this take your time? Oh, okay. All right. That's right. I do have a couple minutes here. Okay, roll them around like that. Then, I'm not going to do any more of them because we've got a lot of other things we've got to do. Take your fork and put it in a little water, too. And I do the old obligatory the peanut what? butter cross hatch. You know, you've got to have that design on peanut butter cookies or you can be arrested and serve a lot of time with that guy that wrote to us. No. Now, there you are. It was a woman. Oh, excuse me. That's worse than I thought it was. All right. See? Isn't that cute? And you just keep dunking that down in the water, and that way it won't get all sticky and messy. It won't hurt them a bit. And just keep doing that until you've used them all up. That makes about two and a half great big pans of this stuff. Put them in the oven, 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how crispy you want them. And they're real good, and I'll show you what they look like in just a little bit. Maybe we better bring it. How are you coming along with yours? Oh, That's I, it, by I, the way. I've got mine in the oven. Let's look at the recipe. All righty. Recipes are coming up. There they are. There you go. The Anna's uh, cookies, a half a cup of softened margin, that's one stick, a cup of sugar, an egg beaten, um, one half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, uh, one and three quarter cups of flour, mm. uh, one half a tablespoon or teaspoon of salt, good grief, I can't read, a well, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one and a half teaspoons of anise seeds uh, crushed. And you just bake them and that's it. Well, this, I can't believe it's a cookie cookie. Sent in by Lee Holston, Pulaski, Virginia. Two eggs, two cups of sugar, two cups of peanut butter. Mix it all up and uh, squish it out on a pan, just like I just did, and put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10, 12 minutes. That's it. And Cookies now, good too. I they think really are. we have a letter from <clears throat> our good Christmas witch. Come on in, honey. Now, a straight down yeah, drop. Well, I haven't seen know, that she, for a well, while. Well, she's taking it easy these days because, you know, the uh, her nativity is imminent. You know, she will be uh, having her shortly in a few weeks. Having her uh, shortly in a few weeks. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just oh, trying oh, to be oh, delicate uh, about it because, you know, they get upset in Virginia if you mention anything about birth. About birth. Uh, right. Anyway, right. but she is Have you got have, the water boiling? Oh, no. We oh, have it's alcohol too early boiling the, in the oh. back. All right. <laughs> hey, guys, now we know you guys love that Spanish Cuban grub. We do. Yeah, well, you know. We oh, yeah, we do. Like yeah, that. sure. But how about some Mexican that we can fix? Mm -hmm. Oh, late. Mexican food, I guess. My first girlfriend was named Estralita <laughs> and cooked great Mexican food. <laughs> My current squeeze is from Peru. Oh. Ever eat a llama? <laughs> <laughs> thanks. And that's uh, from Tim Bucktu. <laughs> so Tim, thanks, and we'll see if we can't come up with some Mexican chow next week here on the show. It's been so long since we've heard from the Bucktu family. <laughs> uh, it really has been a well, while. You know, Terrific. There was that real goofy looking one, you know. Wh which Bucky one was Bucky Bucktu. Bucky Bucktu. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Well, we've got well, this fine platter. One of, good thing about this meal is you don't need <laughs> plates. You just need fingers. We need a cup of punch or something. Well, you know, it is right. I'll try yours if you'll try mine. Mmm. Oh, good. I like those. The anise feed gives it kind of a licorice taste. It does. Mm-hmm. Which is kind of what it is. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it and is real good. These uh, cookies are real good, too. This particular one is just a tad sad, don't you? No, it's, no, it's wonderful. It couldn't be better. Hmm. Well, I just had a real good time. Well, make I up think these I cookies. did, but I'm not sure. I'm Squeeze not sure. them around, use your hands, and uh. make a mess and cook them. Mm. See you next week down Mexico way. <laughs>